And late this afternoon, new video into our newsroom showing two Alabama men in Russian captivity. The new images on Russian media. It shows former Army Staff Sergeant Alex Juki and former Marine Corporal Andy Wynn of Hartzell. The two Alabama men went missing outside of Kharkiv days ago. They were fighting alongside Ukrainian forces. The new video comes hours after the release of this photo of the men in the back of a Russian truck. President Biden has gotten briefings on the two Americans throughout the day. I have been briefed. We don't know where they are, but I want to reiterate, Americans should not be going to Ukraine now. Say it again. Americans should We're going to go live now to Way 31's Nicole Zedek. And Nicole, you've been in touch with Congressman Adderholt, who's working with the veterans' families. That's right, Nikel, and his goal is to get those two men back here in, in Alabama safe and sound. Now, they were last heard from over a week ago on June 8th, and originally the family thought that they were missing, but now it appears they might have been captured by Russian forces. Now, you're taking a look at newly released video that shows Andy Huynh safe and unharmed, but the message behind this video is disturbing. We had to mute the audio because it's unclear if it's an authentic message, as Andy could be heard delivering a pro-Russian statement. Now, we also have new video of Alexander Druki, who's on camera addressing his mom, saying he's alive and he hopes to be back home as soon as he can. Congressman Adderholt says while these videos have yet to be verified, if they are accurate, he's happy that the two men are safe. At this point, we've got no confirmations from the State Department that those are actual, but obviously they look like them and, uh, you know, we one could assume that it is. Uh, the good thing about if it is them indeed, that they are alive and well. And uh, that, uh, you know, unfortunately, though, they're there. They have been captured if that if these are authentic. Congressman Adderholt is working with the men's families to make sure there's an open communication between them and the State Department as the state works to confirm the authenticity of these videos and hopefully locate the two men. Now, the family I spoke with says they're grateful for all of the help that the state has been providing, and they say these new videos actually give them hope that their loved ones are safe and could soon return home. Reporting live, Nicole Zedek, Way 31 News.